Good morning Floss Tube. Um, it is the 22nd of June. I actually felt like recording this morning and yeah I'm a bit of in a mood. I wrote in my journal last night um, and got some thoughts down on paper so that was good. Um, we have finally got winter here today. Um, it was cold last night. I had lovely snuggles with my floss baby, my fur baby I should say, floss baby. And um, we are at 17 degrees today. Well, 17 degrees today in Gladstone, and that's Celsius. And um, we are expected to get to a top of. Uh, where are we? Top of 25 today. So that's comfortable. That's what it should be in autumn, though, not winter. So. Um, I can't go back to see what it was this morning. Oh, it was. Um, yeah, so Saturday we're supposed to get down to nine. Woohoo! And Monday and Tuesday are supposed to be getting down to nine as well with tops of 21. So winter is here. For Gladstone, anyway. Not anywhere else. Not in many other places that call it Gladstone. My sister's up in Weeper, which is at the top of Australia. So. Um, her winter temperatures are 25 in the morning and 35 at lunchtime. So um, I should think myself lucky because I'm a winter person, love winter. So I actually got some stitching done last night. Whee! I'm working just on this. All this grey down here is all confetti. Um, and why I'm working on this coming down onto the page is... I'm going to have three days at my parents' farm. I know I won't get a huge amount of stitching done. But when I'm at the farm, I don't have my wonderful daylight magnifying light. So I can't work on confetti. Um, and there's... So all this in here is confetti. And it's her. And it's all confetti through her. So... Um, but then there's all of this, which is a lot of block work in colour. The same with down here, it's block work in colour and across here. So I am trying to get this filled in so that I can work in here until down to there. And also I can fill in here down this way. Um... And because it's going to be easier, I'll take my smaller hoop so I can, I've got a small like spring loaded hoop that I use to work on the top 10 rows because I just find it too awkward to work up there on my piece. But if I do the top 10 rows, I don't mind. I can work on here on the key snaps. Um, but yeah. So yes, got some stitching done. So, and today I'm doing the washing, I'm packing, and I'm getting myself ready for interview on Friday, and I'm going to go, go through the job sites and see what else is going at the moment. So that's going to be my plan for the day, um, and mix it up with some stitching. So I hope everyone is having a lovely morning. And, um, yeah, I will talk again later. Bye. Good evening, Floss Tube. It is Sunday, the 25th of June. It is a quarter to ten of an evening. I have oh, done that look over again. <laughs> um, I have done my trip to Mandabra for an interview and stayed at my parents and I am back in Gladstone very tired. Um, uh, just so I'll give you a quick update. I have actually a page, I call it a page finish. I've got a couple of little crosses in there to do um, but I just can't do it at the farm so I don't have my wonderful light. But yay, I have a page finished, a full page. All, sti uh, all stitched in. So this red line is the, the column of pages. So 
This pattern is 40 pages, but eight rows of four and a half. So it's really, technically it's 36 full pages of pattern. So I'm one page down, 35 to go. Well, 34 and a half, because I'm about half a page there. So, but, oh, wrong way. So, yay. So I'm working on like, it's black and a couple of shades of navy. navy. Trying to get that all in because there's so much of it. And then that way I can just sort of confetti fill. Just work colours through. Um, not sure how I'm going to keep working this. I'll just see how I go on the day. What I feel like doing. Um, I'll probably keep working or the black and the navy in. I'm going to give it a try for this page anyway, see how I go. So I've got another, this page over here is over those dark colours and it's mostly just this trim here, I think. I think the trim splits and creates like a circle here and the arch goes down and squares up down there. So and then her, this is her bit of a bit of a headdress here. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna shop so it goes over a bit further and start of a head. So I don't know if I'll start doing that as well. We'll see. I'm sorry, touched on my nose. But yeah, I just thought I'd share. So, yay. I won't find out about the job in Mandabra for another two weeks yet. So, that's okay. It gives me a chance to try and get up on some bills and get myself sorted. So, and just apply for more jobs. Get as many opportunities out there as possible. So, yeah. That's me. That's my update. I'll talk to you again probably maybe tomorrow if I get some stitching done. Um, okay. Night, everyone. Hi Floss Tube. Um, it has been a while since I've recorded um, with my vlog. I have actually been very busy. Unfortunately, I still don't have a job. Um, I think I've had two interviews since I last talked to you. I've been rejected. Got re two rejections this week. One for one I'd previously done and one for the last one I was about to go to. Um, the latest interview was again in my hometown, where I grew up, I should say, called Bigenden. Back in, back in the office, I first had my very first job. So part of me feels like that would be a nightmare to go back to, but it's work, so fingers crossed. Um, and it's only temporary. Um, it actually finishes on my birthday, so I think that's quite hilarious. But it's a job, and it gets me a step in the council if I can get in. And it means I can live with mum and dad for a couple of months and earn a wage. Her wage is it better than nothing compared to New Start. Um, I have done some stitching since last time I spoke to you, um, but not an overly large amount. So still working on Melita, still wishing to work on Melita. Um, so That is, I've started sort of working along the top. I need to do, I'm finding that I need to do like the top of oh, four or five rows. I don't even have to do full ten. If I do them out of my Q-snaps and in my smaller little spring heat loaded, um, I can't have, don't have it here. It's a spring little loaded circle frame with a metal spring and a plastic um, outer. Um, it's just a bit easier and I get better tension. Um, so, but I still need to do that because it's too much of a reach on my Q snaps and I get too sore and it really slows me down. When I'm on the spring loaded, I can really sort of churn along. So, the end edge of my pattern, so I've probably got about a page to go. I'll be going along the top to get to the edge of my pattern. My edge of my pattern is actually right there at that knot here. 
Um, so the aim is to sort of like keep working these down as I go along and just keep working along and get that edge done and that way I can just put my cue snap in, move along, move along, move along and not have to worry about finding that little circular frame because I tend to use it in a few different projects where I need to get closer to the edge of my fabric. So yeah, so I think also I filled in that section there. I've done the few little confettis, the stars in here to have actually have that page as a page finish now. So that feels awesome having that first page done. Um, so, but yeah, that's my stitching progress and my job hunting progress. So I would love to just be stitching today, but I need to check for some jobs and send off some applications and do some emails. I've been reading a bit. Um, the Avid Readers, I'm not sure if you're aware, there's a website called BookBub and it you, you just register and you go through and you select your preferences from a few. They're not great um, preferences to sort of cull through um, but I haven't seen any of my favourite authors come up either on the things but what it does is it goes it's like an engine that sort of trolls through all the various ebook sites and it gets all the lists all the free books and books between I think two dollars up to two dollars I think it is free to up to two dollars and there are heaps and I'm constantly looking for new authors and um just looking for something new and yeah it's great if you like your raunchy romances you like your mills and boons there's a whole heap of them there but there's others as well there's all sorts of things I've just read a really good um, science fiction little omnibus of short stories and I really liked it um, so yeah it's called bookbub so B -O -O -K -B -U -B. Um, check it out if you haven't heard of it um, worth, the, worth the time. So that's it for me. I'll probably post after this because it is the 8th of July. I'm not sure if I said that. So I'll get that up and going. Um, yeah. And I hope you've all been well and I will talk to you again later. Bye.